Alright, I'm ready. Cut it, cut, cut it, cut it. Start the music again, because I wasn't ready. It started again. Alright. Camera's rolling still, though. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to High Rollers on the Riding1279 channel. Let me put the title screen up because I get paid for that. There it is, there it is. Alright, so now we're ready to do our regular game now of High Rollers. And the challenger who is facing Kyle to take away his championship, Gary Newkirk. And Gary is having a, a bad cold today. This show is brought to you by Vicks NyQuil. The only damn medicine that's supposed to relieve your coughs, snifflings, ache aches, back aches, stomach aches, foot aches, butt aches, whatever aches you got. It's supposed to help you sleep. That's right. It's because it's got alcohol in it. Right. Yep. <laughs> well, guys, y'all ready to play the game? Yes. All right, well, Steve, let's talk about the prizes in game one. Let's talk about the Cobb one. Well, here we go, and let's see if I will mess up or not. Let's see. In the first, in the first column, any one of you two could win this inlaid Italian marble game table. This inlaid Italian marble game table is Italian. <laughs> Have a game room. You probably would want to have this because it's definitely what you want to have. It's Italian. You can't go wrong. This game Italian marble game table is valued at eight thousand dollars. Next is the home computer. Tell them about that home computer, Steve. This home computer is lovely. It features a built-in webcam, a wireless mouse, and a wireless keyboard. It can be yours, and you can have it all. It's valued at $4,500. Okay, and let's see what's in that last uh, column, Steve. And finally, the last column. If you have the big, huge TV, well, you're going to want to have this. It's a home entertainment center. Woo! 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 To go along with your Italian game table, you can also put that big TV in there with this home entertainment center. <laughs> it's big, it's huge, you'll love it, we guarantee it. It's valued at $7,580. And what's the total uh, value of the whole board, Steve? And hopefully I'm right. It is valued at $20,080. Woo! Over $20,000. Let's see how the numbers fall in game one. <laughs> there it is. So the hot column is column one, a row of a 12 will get you the inlay marble game table for $8,000, okay? And let me make sure I get the, uh, the call in. There we go. All right, are y'all ready to play high rollers? Okay. Fingers on dial pads. You got your dial pads ready? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. All right, here's the question. At the end of the movie, King Kong, the girl begs the big ape not to do something. The, well, who buzzed in? It was Kyle. Hey. Kyle, what do you think? Nah, boy. Not to drop her? Not to drop her. Okay, Judge, do we accept that? What's the real answer? Put her down. I think we should take that. Yeah, the answer is put her down, so we'll give that to you. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's close enough, because if you uh, put her down, that's like dropping her, so. So, yeah, that's close enough. Good job, Kyle. Yay! Alright, so Kyle, uh, you see the game board? Yeah. Just uh, let me know when you want me to roll them. And 
It's a three. How do you want to take out the three? Two and one. The two and one. Okay. Good, good, good. The two and one comes off to this board. Okay. And we go to our next question. Next! Just answer yes or no. If he had wanted to, could Lyndon Johnson have run for president in 1968? That's Kyle. Break quickly. Yes. Yes, he could, but he chose not to. Good job, Kyle. All right. Yay. Now, let's look at the game board again. All the numbers are good. Just let me know when. It's a seven. How do you want to take that seven out? Four, four three. A four three combination, okay. The four three comes off the board. Now we know the three is a bad row. And the four is a bad row too. Alright, next question. Sir Lawrence Olivier. Sir Alice Gaines or Sir Ralph Richardson? Which of these famous English actors played the noble Obi-Wan Kenobi? Okay, that's Kyle. Uh, the second one, I forgot. Sir Alice, Sir Alex Alex Gaines. That's correct. It is Sir Alex Gaines, yes. Now, Kyle, Alex you Gaines. have a choice to make. The good rolls you have are the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, um, 11, and 12. Now you can uh, roll it yourself or pass it to uh, Gary. I think, I, I, I think I'm going to roll it. He's going to roll it. Tell me when. I think I made a bad decision. Roll it! It's a double! Double! Kyle, you're good at getting these doubles. We'll put the assurance yeah. marker on your side of the board, and there's only one way to get rid of this number. There's two fours, that's an eight. So you got the end well, I got the, the, the first roll, the first column, yay. The Italian game table. Love right, the end lay Italian, Italian game, table. game table worth $8,000. That's expensive. Nice. Yours to win if you win the game, Kyle, okay? It is expensive. Very expensive. Here we go. Next question. Are you reading about a famous English poet, painter, or prime minister if you are reading a biography of John Keats? That's Kyle. Oh. Time. Time. The answer is poet. I was gonna ask you. Poet. So that means that Gary gets it. You only get three seconds to answer that question. All right, so Gary, uh, you have an option here, Gary. The good rows are five, six, seven, nine, eleven, and twelve. You can play it yourself or pass it to Kyle. Let's roll. Let's roll them. He's going for it. Let me know when. Okay, drop the damn thing. It's a five. Oh. We'll take out that five for you, Gary. And. Move this number off and this number off. And we're going to our next question. Okay, next! Scuttlebutt. Listen, guys. Scuttlebutt or blunderbuss? Which one is a type of gun? Hmm. Scuttlebutt or blunderbuss? Which one is a type of gun? Gary's gonna try. Uh, the bubble butt, butt, butt what, whatever that one's called, the second one. The blunderbuss? Yeah, the bubble. The blunderbuss, that's correct. Blunderbuss is a type of gun. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> blunderbuss. All right, now, Gary, you have the six, seven, nine with your good numbers left. Now, you can play it yourself or pass it to Kyle. You know what? I don't feel like doing anything, so I'm going to pass them damn things. All right, Kyle. Mm -hmm. You have your insurance marker in case you, if you mess up, Kyle. Let me know when. 
It's an eight. That's a bad roll, so we'll take the insurance marker back. In between everything. In between everything, yep. Well, Kyle, your game table is um in danger, so let me know when. <laughs> yes. It's a seven, you say. Oh, hoo Damn. Take the seven off the board. The game is getting very exciting. The six wow. and the nine are left. Okay. Next question. Does it purr, bark, or chirp if it's a pule? Oh, Kyle, you just made it in for, before Gary. What's your answer? Uh, dog. You mean it, it barks? Yeah. That's correct. It is a type of dog, right? Pass! And he's passing to Gary. Okay. Gary, you know the good rose, so I don't even have to tell you. Just tell me when you want me to let him fly. Whatever you, whatever you are ready. Okay, I'll roll him. It's a five that's a bad roll. And Kyle, you won the first game. Wow, Kyle. You're just winning prizes among prizes among prizes, aren't you, Kyle? Yes, I am, and now I broke the 50,000 mark. Not only that, but you're the all-time highest winner of money of uh, high rollers. Wow. Let me uh, go over this Italian marble game table. Okay, so you have one total now of $55,981. All right. All right, guys, we're going to take a break, and we'll see if Gary can top this game right after this. Don't go away.